Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield sparked outrage with mourners, who accused the pair of skipping the queue to pay their respects to the Queen at Westminster Hall. The duo have denied the queue jump claims, insisting they were there in a professional capacity to film a segment for this morning. ITV also released a statement at the time, defending the reasons why Holly and Philip were there. Despite their explanation, fans have still been left angered by the presenter's actions. One mourner felt so strongly about it, that they set up a petition to have the duo sacked from this morning. So, far the petition has surpassed more than 70,000 signatures from people who are calling for Holly and Philip to be axed. Things have escalated further after it was reported that ITV bosses are concerned for the presenters, who are due to attend the upcoming NDAs. They could be booed walking down the red carpet or even on stage, a source told The Sun before adding, it is a major concern. The NTAs were due to air on September 15, however, it was pushed back due to the Queen's death. The awards will now take place a month later on October 13. The awards, which is attended by many celebrities including Holly and Philip, were due to be held at the AVO Arena in Wembley and hosted by comedian Joel Domit. When This Morning was hosted by Judy Finnegan and Richard Maidley, the show scooped four NTA awards. Holly and Philip have since accepted another 10 awards for the Best Topical Magazine program, the Most Factual program and Best Live Magazine show. The duo have also been nominated for Best Presenter many times, but up until now, have always been beaten by Ant and Deck. During Tuesday's This Morning, Holly and Philip opened the show with a montage of the Queen's coverage. Viewers could also hear Holly speaking in a voiceover about the Q-Jump accusations. Like hundreds of accredited broadcasters and journalists, we were given official permission to access the hall, Holly said. It was strictly for the purposes of reporting on the event for millions of people in the UK who haven't been able to visit Westminster in person. The rules were we would be quickly escorted around the edges to a platform at the back. In contrast, those paying respects walked around a carpeted area beside the coffin and were given time to pause. None of the journalists or broadcasters there took anyone's place in the queue and no one passed by the Queen, the host went on to add. We, of course, respected those rules, however, we realize it may have looked like something else. Therefore, we, totally understand the reaction. Please know, that we would never jump a queue. Express.co.uk has reached out to ITV for comment.